All right, guys, so today we are going to be showing you guys the best tactics in FIFA 23. Now, the best tactics in FIFA 23 are going to be two formations, um, depending on the situation in the game and also depending on the team you have. These tactics has helped us qualify for pro events, um, for FGS, which is a tournament for the top 128 ranked players in North America. We have also gotten ranked on pretty much every single weekend on this account and on another account as well, our Road to Glory. So stop wasting your time and let's get into the tactics real quick. So to start off, we like the 4-3-2-1. This is our main formation. Um, it's just balanced, 50 width, 59 depth, um, direct passing, 50 width, six players in the box, I think. Um, was that seven? Seven in the box. Two corners, two free kicks. I'm a very attacking minded player, which is why I like so many players in the box um but yeah that's up to preference as well so for the 4-3-2-1 i currently have this formation set up in a five back with the team i'm using right now in a five back because i'm trying to save points to you know buy our nine um i have like a little bit of a budget team and about four million coins in the bank so ignore the players i have in these positions uh for only two positions but the rest you know just pay attention to what i say so for your right back, you want an actual right back. Don't play a center back, but I do have a center back here right now currently because um, I normally don't have my team like this. Um, but have a right back here. Usually Hakimi, Kyle Walker, Munir, any right back you want. Uh, preferably better defending, but that's up to you again. You got, you got, you got your two center backs, Vidic and Ake, um, and then a left back, Captavia. Best left back in the game. Uh, you can have team of the year, Taylor Hernandez, Alfonso Davies, whoever you want. Here, Zidane's position. You need a box-to-box -box midfielder. So a Yaya Toure, a, a Jude Bellingham, a Zidane, you know, someone box-to-box, -box, uh, Kevin De Bruyne. Perfect examples of that. Uh, where Thuram is, you want your Guendouzis, your Vieiras, Thuram, uh, Rabio. You want those big, beefy players, defensive mid players. Nothing too complicated there. Just no nonsense to defending, getting uh, interceptions for you, winning the ball back, and giving it to your more skillful players. Here you're going to have your probably your best dribbler. Uh, Neymar's, Jardizinho, uh, Rodrigo, team of the season, Vinicius Jr. These are the types of players that you want in this position. They carry the ball up and they kind of play like a cam, um, so, but also very good attacking. So you want to have those like speedy, good dribbling, um, wiggly players. Now, Ginola, Mbappe, and Cruyff. Mbappe always has to be striker, guys, in any formation you play. Don't play him wide. It's a waste. He just gets too many, like, he gets too many through ball opportunities where he can be one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He's way faster than anybody else in this game, so you just, you gotta use Mbappe. Just please use Mbappe striker. Left wing, right wing, or left striker, right striker. Doesn't matter who it is. Just pick a pacey player with skills, whoever you like, whoever's in your team. Um, I prefer skills. Skills are the meta. Um, so just skillful players who are also fast. Perfect for these positions. Now, for the actual tactics, we got getting behind for Mbappe, then basic everything else. Ginola is going to be the exact same as Mbappe. Getting behind, basic everything else. Then for Cruyff, this is where it gets a little different. Um, you put come back on defense. Don't touch anything else. Now, the reason you do this it's because you want to do this so that on defense, Cruyff comes back and you defend in a 4-4-2 rather than this odd formation, the 4-3-2-1. So you have more numbers back, better defenders back, and it just sets up an overall better way. Um, so you want to keep it like that. This is vital. Do not change this. You need this for this formation. See Don, your box-to-box -box midfielder, he's going to be balanced everything but just make sure to put cover center. So this will ensure that he becomes that defensive midfielder. When Cruyff drops, he becomes that second defensive midfielder in a 4-4-2. Uh, to Ram, you're just gonna do cover center and stay back while attacking so he doesn't go too far up and also so that he can stay back and be that first line of defense for you in the midfielder. But he'll also go far enough high uh, up the pitch so that he can provide support and can also be that first pass into a player at the top of the box. Now, for where Walker is, but where you want your Vinny, Jarzinho, or your Neymar, get into box and make sure it's on cover wing. Do not put cover center. This way he will shift out, so then you have Turam and Zidane as your CDMs. 
Corey Fez your right mid, and then whoever's in this position will be your left mid. Now, just put get into box and cover wing, and then you're good. Left box is going to be stay back, run type, mixed attack is fine. Same with the, your right back. Doesn't matter who's here, except an actual right back. Cafu, Carlos Alberto, doesn't matter who it is. Make sure they stay back on attacking. You can also do join the attack, um, but if you do anything like join the attack or balance attack, you gotta make sure that you have overlap on it. Now the reason, the reason I don't do that, sorry if you guys see me like itching my nose, my nose is really itchy, don't know what it is, it's allergy season. Um, but anyways, you gotta have players that are attacking if you're gonna you know put overlap but the reason i don't want to do this is because so many people play five backs so many people just play counter attack three walls i don't want to get caught out i'm not particularly the best at defending so i'm gonna make myself i'm gonna put myself in a better position where i'm not gonna get counter attack so that's kind of what you want to go for um so that's why i put stay back and stay back on both of them but you can do it just make sure to put overlap it's up to preference at the end of the day now, for the formation that you guys were all waiting for, the tactics, the 5-4-1. One that all pro players are using, and it's just the best formation in the game. And it's also considered the most ratty formation in the game. I do the same thing, balance 50-59 uh, for depth, direct passing 50-7 in the box, 2-2. Two and two. And here we are, Mbappe striker, as always. No matter what formation you do, just put Mbappe striker. So please listen to me. Then you got your other two forwards, Cruyff and Ginola. And then you got your two midfielders. You need an attacking left back and an attacking right back and three center backs. Or you can have a right back here and then have another, like an, an actual forward, like a Ginola or a Nkunku for is a really good player to have at right back or left back. You can also have an attacking player here. And then you can put a full back at center back. But I prefer to just have three center backs and just have two attack full backs. Makes it super nice and easy and less complicated and way better defensively. So I concede less, but we also are just as good on the attack. Now, Mbappe, stay central and get it behind. Essential, do not change that. We don't need him going wide. We need him to be that target man um, at the top of your half when you're transitioning into the attack and you just win the ball back. So keep that the same. Ginola come back on defense, cut inside and get in behind. It's going to be the exact same thing for Cruyff, but just please, please, please make sure that you have cut inside and get in behind. You can also put get into box for cross. I personally don't think it's necessary, but if you want to try it, feel free to try it. Just please do not touch cut inside and get in behind. These are definitely the essential things that you need for this formation to work best, especially because cut inside, because this allows your full backs to make those overlapping runs. Now, for your midfielders, this is up to preference. I personally prefer to play with Zidane, who is a box-to-box -box midfielder. So I let Zidane roam a little bit by doing balanced attack, balanced crossing runs, and cover center. For Thuron, or Thuron, I do stay back, balanced crossing runs, cover center. Because I wanted to stay back and be more defensive, like my first line of defense. Zidane, though, I want to get into the box sometimes, move up. So that's why I do balanced everything. It's preference. You can have two big defensive midfielders if you want to play even more defensively. Um, or even if with your box to box, you can also put it like, you know, like Turam, right? Stay back, balance the crossing runs, and then you manu manually push your player above. But again, that's also preference, but these are what I use, and this has worked for me, and it's worked wonders. And Dan scores so many goals, and quite honestly, they don't expect your center mid to be. You know to push up as much and it just opens up more space for your other forwards now captavia join the attack and overlap and same with kyle walker join the attack and overlap that's why you want cut inside on your forward players because they'll cut inside and then it leaves the outsides open for kyle walker and captavia walker's now two attacking which is not great so you should have like a hakimi uh, especially team of the year, Hakimi, that Munir, you need attacking minded players on that side, which is why Captivia works so well. Captivia is a great player for that as well. Um, so when he moves up, 
uh, you, you will take some shots with your left back and right back. And you never know, right? That could be the game deciding shot. So you want to ensure they got good shooting stats um, and go up and down the field. Usually you want to have substitutions for your left back and right back. I usually have either Alfonso Davies and Zambrata for Walker. It depends on what it is, right? But I usually have Alfonso Davies. He's a really good one to have, especially for the left side. Now, ensure that you keep everything the same with your center backs and your goalkeeper. And then, you know, overlap, join the attack. And then only thing I'd say you can play around in this formation is either having two defensive midfielders or having get into the box for cross for Cruyff and where Ginola is. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for the video today. If you liked the video, please feel free to drop a like subscribe and if you want to ask us any more questions feel free to comment i'll try to answer as many comments as i can and also feel free to check us out on twitch at snipeshot5000 if you have any more questions uh during the stream i love to ask answer questions i love to you know review your teams and stuff like that and just give you guys overall tips to improve on the game so that you guys can hit rank one and get the best rewards you possibly can especially for team of the season we'll be hitting rank one at least on one account across our three accounts for premier league team of the season so if you want to see that as well feel free to check us out and hopefully i'll see you guys there